All right, here we are at Soul Fest 14. I'm in the Real Goods booth with Aaron Cox, who helped us turn our cash registers into solar-powered cash registers for the event. How'd you do it? Well, we needed cash registers to ring up all the purchases, and so we got the cash registers, and we needed electricity to run them, so I took one of our kilowatt meters, plugged it into the wall, plugged the cash register into the wall, and found out that we're going to use about 75 watt hours per day. So I then looked at what kind of solar panel and battery it would take to run the cash registers here at SolFest. So 75 watt hours per day. So you took the immediate draw of the cash register and then you multiplied it by X number of hours. How Actually, I didn't even have to do any math. The kilowatt meter does it all. It'll tell you the instantaneous wattage that a device is using and it'll tell you the, the accumulative watt hours that a device uses. Excellent. We sell these all the time for folks that are wondering about their old refrigerator, how many watt hours of the day it's going to use. And they plug this in the wall, plug their fridge in it, and they'll see how cost effective it is to switch out their new fridge with that old fridge. So then you set to doing the math to figure out how much solar power we needed for these. Right. And then this part of the world, we usually plan on about seven hours of insulation in the summertime and five hours of insulation in the winter. And this is definitely summertime. So I uh, looked at that 75 watt hours a day and said, heck, a 10 watt panel would probably do just fine. From 8 in the morning till 9 in the morning, you don't quite get the full rated output on a solar panel, but from say noon till 1, you're getting the full rated output. All right, let's look, take a look at the solar. All right. Here we are on the sunny side of the booth, mm -hmm. for obvious reasons, I hope. We've got the uh, solar here for the cash register. Yeah, Take we actually uh, didn't have a 10 watt module in stock, so I went with this fine Kia Cera uh, 40 watt uh, module, which is a bit overkill for what we need, but it's certainly going to be able to charge up our deep cycle battery that we have behind the module just fine. This is a 12 volt, 85 amp hour battery. It's going to be able to supply us with uh, more than enough electricity to run that cash register and probably a nice cooling fan for later on in the day when it gets really hot. So this is about four times the size of what you figured you needed to yes. get the battery charged. Yes, and because it was so big, I got a charge controller, the little sun guard, four and a half amp charge controller to make sure I don't overcharge the battery. And the other safety feature between the solar panel, the charge controller, and the battery is a little ATC style fuse that you see in cars all the time, low five amp. So then from the battery, we've got the DC electricity that the solar panel is generating and the battery is storing. Now we need to make it 120 AC to run the cash register. So I got a sine wave go power inverter, which uh, is 300 watts. It's more than adequate to run that cash register and a fan and maybe a few other things. We'll see what else needs to be plugged in by the end of the day. Great, and this will have enough power. Even if we ran this thing all night, we'd be fine. Oh, yeah, uh, let's see, 85 times uh, 12. Uh, we've got, uh, what is that, over a 1,000 watt hours, and if we're using 75 watts, we can go for quite a few hours. Even so, I'm happy we won't be here all night. Yes, so then you run from the inverter? Through the glorious extension cord to a power strip and plug in the cash register. Yep, that easy. Thank you.